Trackmania is a racing game, pure and simple. People spend years trying to break track records where the difference between good players and the absolute best can be just a few fractions of a second. Now it may not be one of the biggest esports that we cover on this channel, but it's currently reeling from a massive scandal because it appears that many of the best Trackmania players in the world have been cheating for a long time. All right, just before we get into this video, I just want to say that we do cover a lot of stories like this on this channel, a lot of cheating stories, especially in Don't At Me. So if you do enjoy these kinds of stories, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you'll never miss a video just like this one. You give us a subscription, we'll give you great videos like this. It's a great deal. So Trackmania is a series of racing games that date all the way back to 2003 originally. In this game, it's you versus the clock. You can race solo, you can race against your best time or the best time of other players. Part of the appeal with this game is just how simple its design is. There's no gimmicks here. You push forward and try and take the corners as best as you can. That's pretty much it. Players then upload their best times to the Trackmania leaderboards, and it's here where you really start to get a sense for how competitive this scene is. For example, take the popular A01 track. The current record for the track is 23.84 seconds. There's another time there listed as being just 0.67 seconds slower than that, and it's in the 93rd position on the table. The point is, it's insanely tight and competitive at the top. So players upload these replays to the leaderboards, and these replay files also contain the exact inputs that the player made during any given race. Every slight left, every hard right, like everything. In 2019, a Polish programmer called Donadigo created a script that could extract these inputs and play them back, allowing Trackmania fans to watch these records they were chasing exactly as they happened. Now this was great for the community, but it also meant that people could now see any suspicious looking replays with inputs that didn't quite make sense. Donadigo was approached by a pro who wanted him to take a look at the replays of another well-known pro, Riolu. They told Donadigo they were suspicious of some of Riolu's replays. I spoke to Donadigo to find out more. I won't say the name of the player that approached me, um, but it's pretty well-known player within the Trackmania Nations Forever um, game. So I, I took the replay, I fed it into my tool and uh, I sent them the clip. And well, I, I was pretty um, concerned. The inputs looked very strange, but at first, you know, it, it's Riolo. So I thought, you know, maybe it, it just uh, some uh, discrepancy in in my tool or or um, uh, some bug in the game, basically. Here's a replay that took place on Riolu's stream. You can see him inputting left and right in a normal amount of time. This is the kind of thing you can expect from a legitimate run. But if you look at Riolu's inputs from a faster offline stream, you can see an almost inhuman amount of flickering going on as he taps his controls. And in this game, that's enough to raise some serious eyebrows. This level of super fast inputs is only really possible if you're moving super fast or the game is running super slow. Now, cheaters in Trackmania have been known to slow down the game before. It's a lot easier to pull off the precise movements it takes to break a track record if you have loads more time to see what's coming next and react. Donadigo then teamed up with Virtual, a popular Trackmania content creator, to see whether Riolu and others had slowed down the games to get some of their record runs. I spoke to Virtual to find out how they set about with the mammoth task ahead of them. So the investigation really was, is this slow-mo or is it something else? Because it certainly wasn't normal. It certainly wasn't like how a human would play Trackmania. So we that's sort of the angle we approached it from. Can we find any other way to replicate these inputs that we're seeing uh, apart from slowing down the game speed? 
Now they had to be careful here. The report in which they published the results of this investigation stated that they wanted to take into account other variables that might explain the suspicious behavior they were seeing. Maybe in the suspicious runs, their controller was broken. Maybe they were using a high sensitivity or a specific type of joystick. With this in mind, I wanted to know how did these investigators determine what constitutes suspicious behavior? So suspicious behavior basically means that um, the, the inputs of a replay look um, fed up, look, or, or in other term, terms, they look much different than the grand scheme of things of other players, right? If you compare to the majority of other players, they look very differently. They spent a lot of time trying to replicate the suspicious runs with increased controller sensitivity, different controller settings, and even copying the joystick movements. For them, nothing seemed to come close to replicating the suspicious inputs that they were seeing. However, if the players had slowed down the game using a piece of software like Cheat Engine, then the results would make a lot more sense to them. Now it's important to note here that Trackmania does actually have its own validation system to make sure that the replays are, well, valid. But all this system does is check to see if the inputs from a player's controller lines up with their position on the track. As long as it doesn't break the physics of the game, the system deems it to be a valid run. The problem is, when you slow the game down, you make it way easier for yourself, but your inputs and your position on the track still match up when you speed it back up to 100%, meaning these replays were always given a valid stamp. If Virtual and Don Diego were going to confirm their suspicions of these runs being slowed down, they were going to need a system that was much more scientific than just saying these inputs flicker too much. They came up with an algorithm that could put these input flickers into measurable terms and they called them spikes. They could then compare the spikes per second from a known legitimate run to a suspicious one like one of Riolu's. The algorithm measures how much how, how many of these direction changes, so from steering left to steering right, that would be one, from right to left, that would be two. How many of these happen in a certain time frame? So, for example, we used, for the investigation, we used one second. So, in one second, how, how many times you change the steering direction? The average amount of spikes per second they saw in a normal replay was around three, with a peak of about six or seven. After analyzing 573 of Riolu's runs, they found an average spikes per second of 11.73, considerably higher than the community average. Another eyebrow raiser was that these high spike runs never seemed to happen on stream, where people could easily see if the game had been slowed down. Upon closer inspection, we found that only runs played offline exhibited very high spikes per second and unnatural fast tapping movements, while his steering movements in runs played live on stream or on online servers is much smoother and the steering changes are less agile. After analyzing hundreds of replays using Donadigo's script, they published a report which argued that seven well-known pros, including Riolu, had used external software to slow down their games. One of those players, Techno, actually reached out to Virtual and admitted that yes, he had slowed down his game in some of his runs by as much as 60%. He said it wasn't something that he was proud of and that he he did it to try and reclaim some of the world records that Riolu had taken from him. Other top racers then came forward and admitted they'd done the same thing. It's hard to understate just how big of a deal this was. These heroes of the community, gods of the track, had cheated, plain and simple. Virtual's video on the whole investigation has almost hit a million views and has reached people far outside of the Trackmania community. It looks so fake, even uh, like not looking at this. I mean, obviously 2020 hindsight, but looking how tightly so he's just like similarities to August control is insane. The pressure has mounted on Riolu to address the allegations that were laid out in the report, but he's flat out denied them. The pair had actually been friends before all of this, and Virtual had originally approached Riolu to address the allegations in private. But Riolu pushed back against what he saw as a witch hunt. What bothers me is that you're apparently putting yourself into the position of the self-proclaimed Trackmania police, because that's in fact what they're doing right now. 
and that you're seemingly lacking any type of trust to me. That's the more sad part about it, actually. Just yesterday, you said you weren't gonna start witch hunts with people, uh, over people, but what you just wrote seems very much like it. So this brings us right back to now. The report is out, these players have been exposed, and their records expunged from Trackmania forever. Donadigo has also released the competition patch, which aims to address many of the issues that led to this whole scandal in the first place. It independently verifies the metadata from all inputs to make sure they came from a real hardware device and prevents players from being able to play in slow motion undetected. Players now actually need their records to be run with this patch to even be uploaded to the Trackmania leaderboards. So that's one happy ending for all of this, I guess, but for Virtual, the final chapter will only really close when Riolu addresses the allegations. I think it will sort of be a relief to the community because right now a lot of people are just waiting for closure. Like we haven't heard anything from uh, Riolu, for example, so it's like... Did he cheat? Did he not cheat? People are waiting for answers. I think once this comes out, it's going to be like the, the, the final piece. Like we can move on after that. Virtual and Donadigo admit that even though they were thorough, there's no way to know if someone cheated with 100% certainty. For example, when Donadigo told me about players having high spikes on suspicious runs, I asked him if a cheater could simply slow down the game and then not move too much, thereby avoiding detection. It's totally possible and in fact uh, we worked with some people um, that know that some replays are cheated and when we inspected them they had a very low score but they were cheated they were slow mode so yes it's definitely possible to uh, cheat the system in a way so basically they admit that this system can't catch every cheater that tries to slow down their game surprise surprise cheaters will even try and cheat a cheat detection system but they believe that just because it's not foolproof, it doesn't mean it isn't going to help fight cheating in Trackmania. For them, it's less about eliminating every possible cheat and more about making Trackmania a living hell for any future cheaters. I really hope that, you know, this is a wake-up call for the entire community that uh, we should really try to and then strive for fair competition going forward so that we can just never have to deal with something like this again. Um, cheating is, of course, and inevitability in games. People want to get ahead in, in competitive environments, but we should still try to make it, uh, like we did now, difficult enough that people don't uh, bother, hopefully, and that if they bother, it's more likely that they get caught as well. We do make a lot of these types of stories on this channel, especially with Don't At Me. Don't At Me, why does it so weird? Don't At Me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I used to be insanely good at Mario Kart. I actually raced for England in a Mario Kart Wii tournament, and that's a little known fact about it. Yeah, I mean, it, listen, it was online. It was all run by like an online forum, but hey, I was I was fast enough on the on the track to um, to do that, and I think we came like fourth or something. Dude, I was, oh my God. I think it's, it's one of the most successful games for me ever. I was insane at it, honestly. 